Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be the mod review for May 31st of 2021. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome to the mod review for May 31st of 2021. We have quite a bit of stuff today and some pretty cool mods actually today. Um, a couple of cool ones in there, I think. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go through them all as we normally do. Uh, but first off, we are going to jump into the updates. And if you are looking for a specific mod that you just want to see that one down below in the YouTube slider bar, you should be able to skip ahead to whatever mod you are looking for. So without further ado, let's go into our updates. So we had updates to the placeable pillow by Scared Soul 13, an update to the grain drying by Zottlezocht, an update to plywood production by Zottlezocht as well. And continuing from there, we also had updates to the Man 334146x6 pack by Black Sheep Modding, an update to the garage for machines by Didact96, and finally an update to the Goldcrest Valley Chicken Pen by Adub Modding ABP Team. So those are our updates for today. Now, we did have a new map release today as well that I will be doing a map tour of later on today. Um, ben, or the farm of Ben, it says Ben, looks like Ben Farming 19, or Ben Farm 19 on the top, but uh, that's by pull, or Full Power Shift, geez, um, and that is for all platforms. So I will be doing a mod review shortly after this mod review, or yeah, I will be doing a map tour of that shortly after this mod review comes out, so stay tuned for that. Um, and our first mod for the day is a big one, Course Play. Now, yes, it's only for PC players. Actually, I didn't even look, but I'm just assuming because course play wouldn't, wouldn't work on consoles because it's a very highly scripted mod uh course play is fantastic if you don't know how to use it um i know the farm sim guy has some videos out on how to use it there's some other people out there i'm still back and forth whether or not i'm going to do a tutorial series on it or not but uh we'll see we'll just kind of just kind of stay tuned just in case i do but uh yeah so course play by uh the course play dev team um course play allows you to do work on all fields it kind of is a really overworks the ai for working so you can do odd shaped fields you can do different things you can have them skip rows do multiple machines on one field and have it all work out together um it's a very cool very 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 cool mod so definitely highly recommend that but um there you go we're gonna go ahead and jump into the rest of the new mods for today all right first up today we have the white workhorse series this is by julian f modding 15.94 megabytes to download this is for all platforms if you are on consoles it will not be uh branded the white workhorse it'll be the magic workhorse which i actually kind of like that better but uh if you're on console this tractor is going to run you 13 slots let's go ahead and take a look at it in the store it's going to be found under medium tractors i believe is where i found it yep right there the white workhorse series 32,500 to buy 186 horsepower 140 liters of fuel runs at 22 miles an hour if we go into here there's some customization options available main color can be adjusted to anything on there so you really can go kind of whatever you want and there's some cool colors in there I like that um, so you have front wheel assist two wheel drive or back to front wheel assist so uh single row crops dual row crops plowing setup which only has that set up there so there you go and then back down to single row crops now front wheel assist still has the same options for the back as well so or the two wheel drive sorry uh, now if we go to cab configurations it's gonna be kind of hard to see all these but we'll try to take a look at them so we have uh trimble gps planter terminal gps and planter terminal phone stand uh i i isobus terminal isobus and trimble isobus planter terminal and probably more and then all of those you can have which is what i went with on our that we'll take a look at exhaust we have standard curb pipe straight pipe back to standard um, down below we have the engine 9170 to 186 horsepower the 9195 is 202 and then back to 186 exterior attachments we have rock box uh weight 200 kilogram weight 400 weight 600 weight 8 weight 1000 and then a stole front loader attachment and then back to nothing so there you go quite a few options on there which i really like so let's go ahead and take a look at it here sounds great starts up really fast as well horn there we go lights one two three off one two three off turn signals left right right and left there uh, beacon is there a beacon on this one nope no beacon available looks like open up the help menu make sure you don't miss anything on there it looks great let's take a look at inside the cab everything seems to function the way it should you got all that extra stuff added in there if you want it all in there but yeah looks good everything's good i like the kind of setup in here it's quite nice but uh yeah there you go that is the white workhorse series 
All right, next up, we have the Case Axial Flow 250 series. This is by JHHG Modding, 25.18 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. If you are on console, this is gonna run you 61 slots, 61. Wow, it's like it's a John Deere. Uh, sorry, poke at the John Deere monitors there. They're always so detailed though, so I can't blame them. Uh, but down here in the store, it's located under Harvesters. This is one of my new favorite Harvesters, simply even though it has a slot count, because look at the grain capacity. 625 horsepower, 1200 liters of fuel, 24 miles an hour, 26,780 liters of uh well, it can hold that in its uh, grain tank. Um, and I didn't, I don't know if there's one that's more than that. I'm sure there probably is modded ones out there that are better than that, but uh, that's the biggest one that I can remember seeing. Uh, $432,000 starting price. If we go take a look at it in here. Um, so the extension you need to adjust. So 14448, or you can do tip up harvester, which is now 26780. So you want to adjust that up to there. Um, wheel brand under Michelin. Do we have, we'll see, I will set up here. So under Michelin, we have two wheel drive transport, Rear wheel drive transport, two wheel drive front. Yep, that's just some various options through there. There's a lot of different ones on there, so I want to make sure it's crawler track. We're back to the transports. I won't read them all off because we'll be here all day. Case, we have two options for crawler tracks. Michelin, that's what we're at. So rear axis, standard or wide, so you can have it go out, uh, tip out a little bit more. Rear hitches, uh, standard. It's got some different hitch options in there. That's kind of cool. Standard pipe. Foldable, so standard. Yeah, I've got a couple options there. Axial flow 8250, it's 555 horsepower. The 9250 is 625, back to the 555. So, great looking harvester. X to unfold it. Oh, if you want to see the pipe go out, pipe will go out quite a ways. Uh, lights, one, two, off, one, two, off. Left turn signal, right turn signal right turn signal and left turn signal and then horn beacons does have beacons on it yep does have beacons on it so there you go beacons on there looks like is that the one on the rear yep one on the rear two on the front and the beacons off there sounds great and i did go with crawler tracks on it i think these are the case ones inside the cab everything looks great in here things working as it should but yeah no, I don't want to go into there. Uh, menu here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope. Oh, maybe that. Oh, I can tip that up and down. It's kind of cool. I like that on the edge of the pipe there. Fantastic. Well, there you go. That is the Case Axial Flow 250 series. All right, next up, we have the Bale Fork Pack. This is by Agrar Modding. 3.49 megabytes to download for all platforms. These are found in the store under front loader attachments. Homemade bale fork is $1,200 to buy and is going to run you one slot. Well, there's two on here. I'm, I don't know which one's going to run one. Bale fork one. Oh, bale fork one. This one is one slot. This one is three slots. And this one at the end here is two slots, the bale spike. So $1,200 to buy. We go into here. You can adjust the main color, which is the forks to anything on that list. Second one, we go into here. We can adjust, once again, this is the back color this time, not the forks. But you can adjust the main color. And then into the stole, we can adjust the main color to anything on there. So, yeah, pretty nifty. I like that. We've got a couple different options. Might just be exactly what you're looking for, but 1600 and and 1000 to buy those two uh, there. But here's just a look at a couple of them outside the shop. But uh, there you go. That is the Bill Fork Pack. All right, next up, we have the Garford Robocrop. Um, this is uh, by Simulagri Modding, 17.47 megabytes to download for all platforms. These are going to run you six slots each on console. They are located under weeders in the store, these guys right here. They're all six meters, and they all run at seven miles an hour, and all require 90 horsepower. Now, it says for ro Robocrop for maize, sunflower, and sugar beets. I don't know if it actually would matter in the game or not if you tried it on the other ones, but there's no customization for um, any of them in the store, so they're 23200 to buy. I don't have any weeds out here, but what we will do is we will go ahead and... There we go. I hit unfold as soon as I got into it. So it took, took a little bit to get it going. So just something to be aware of. I can adjust. Uh, looks like the plow lines there or something along those lines. It shouldn't do any cultivating or anything. We'll confirm, but. Yep, it's not doing anything, which is perfect. It shouldn't be doing anything. There's no weeds here. Uh, you can hire a worker, fold it up, do all you need to do. But there you go. That is the 
Garford Robocrop. Next up, we have the Annaberger HTS2203 and HTS2903. These are by Red Cat 3D, 17.93 megabytes to download for uh, all platforms. So if we go into the store here, they're found under trailers at towards the very end, at least. These two right here, um, the HTS2203, 47,000 to buy, holds 44,000 liters of these bulk crop types here. Um, and if you're on console, both of these are gonna run 19 slots. By the way, this one's 53,000, bumps your capacity up to 50,000 liters. Same crop types, this is the one I had as the bigger one. Um, and both of them, you have pretty much the same configuration options. The main color, I believe, is the roof. I'll show you that in a second here. Lizard, you have FL630 Ultras and the 648s, Flotation Pros, Trailer Borg, uh, Michelins. You got two options there for the Michelins. Um, and then back to the Lizards. Cover, yes, I believe, is that? What is that changing? Can't tell what that's changing. I could be missing something, of course, but uh, and I believe the 53,000 has the same, yep, yeah, same configuration options. So, up and into it. Let's go ahead and fill it up with something here, just some chaff or whatever. So, 50,000 liters, not not bad. And to open the cover. And that adjusts. Oh, I'm. that's interesting. I am steering the wheels manually potentially with the mouse button there what does right up and down do that lowers and raises and lowers the hitch which is a really nice feature on a lot of these trailers um left control i to unload does its thing there you go that is the anna burger hds 2203 and hds 2903 Next up, we have the MAAG pack. This is by SMI Modding Team, Vertex Design, and Modelitcher. Uh, or Modelitcher? I probably said that wrong. I apologize. 25.76 megabytes to download. This is for PC and Mac players only. Uh, found in the store in a couple areas under subsoilers. There's one attachment. Uh, the Colta Lam 50, 16,890 to buy. Requires 140 or 150 horsepower. 5 meter working width. Runs at 7 miles an hour. Then under disc arrows. And on the very end here, we have the MAAG, the Vortex VTXI 50 TRA, 64,690 to buy, 220 horsepower, same working width of 5 meters, will hold 600 liters of seed if needed, runs at 13 miles an hour. Now this one, you can use seed system or no seed system. So mine has seed system, um, so you can plant stuff with it, otherwise no other customization. Now if you look down there at the bottom right hand corner, I can do grass, oil seed radish, canola, wheat, and then back to grass. So only a few options on there. Now if I X to unfold that... There you go. It takes a little bit of time for it to catch up there. And that the mouse button looks like it adjusts that up and down if I need to. But if I hit V to lower that down, theoretically. Oh, there it goes. It's going down now. And then if I go to the front attachment, V to lower that down. That should be a subsoiler. And then if I turn on the rear cultivator that should plant some grass right there oh there we go you can kind of go along at this now we're only going at six miles an hour which i think is the limit for the front front piece so it won't go at the full 13 if you're um using the front piece as well but yeah pretty nifty i think that's pretty cool setup there lift up that there we go but there you go that is the maag pack Next up, we have the Junkari Module Trailers. These are by Pharma Farmery99, uh, 47.9 megabytes to download for all platforms. Um, we'll take a look at these in the store. So this is essentially a modular trailer set. Go down to the end. So here they are, the Junkari ones. So the J16s will hook up to the J16s. So note that the J18s will hook up to the J18s. So we'll just note that. I'm going to go through all the slots real quick for all these and the prices. So the J16 uh, base attacher is 13245 to buy. Uh, and this is going to run you four slots on consoles. The J16 JLV is 10742 to buy. And it will run you 12 slots on console it will hold these types of crops here and actually let's just go through them as we go 19,000 you can bump up to 23,034 after 2014 so you have a couple different decal options on there as you can see and main color can be adjusted if you would like to now moving on the j16 jld is going to run you 14 slots 11,067 to buy uh, we'll hold all these crop types if we go into here you can adjust it capacity 10,000 19,300 so and 19,300 you can do a cover or not and i believe 
I don't have this one, but I'll show you the one I have in a second that's out. So again, you have multiple detail options. Now we're on to the J18. The J18 is 18,245 to buy. And actually, I don't know if these ones have, they do have some customization options. I forgot about that. So you can add tools onto the side, uh, trailer tight, trailer low, trailer low, or trailer or trailer low, uh, rear bumper, rear trailer hitch. So a couple options. You can adjust the wheel setup if you'd like to, a few different ones under there. Um, but yeah, just a couple different options under there. After 2014, pre 2014, so you have a couple options there. Uh, for the J18, the J16 has the same customization options, um, and that is the J18. If I didn't mention it, that is four slots. If you're on console, um, the J18 JLV 11,067 to buy. This is is that the one I have? No, this is the one I have. I have this one right here, but um, this will hold 38,000 liters of these crop types here, um, and this one is going to run you 12 slots on console. We go into here, capacity 22,000, 24, 34. After 2014, decal options there. And we can do covers, yes or no, depending on the configuration. And you can change the color of the whole setup there. So again, very similar to the rest of them. The J18 JLD 11,067 to buy, 21,600 liters of these guys. And this will run you uh, 13 slots on console. Capacity 12, 21.6, and that's it. Under 21.6, you have the cover, which is what I did. And I think this is the exact configuration I have, but you can go different ones on there. And again, main color can be adjusted. So. Um, now the last one here, the J18 flatbed, 35,000 to buy. Um, we'll hold, hook up again to the Jankari J18. Um, this is going to run you six slots if you're on console. If we go into here, you have standard, front screen, or standard. So a couple options. So if I hop in here, if you look up there, I can detach that and pull out this if I would like to, or I can hook it up. And to open up the cover, I can put some wheat in there or something. Left control I to unload. Good animation on the unload. Unloads fairly quickly, but there you go. That is the Junkari module trailer. So there you go. All right, next up, we have the Slurry Tank 70. This is by Raleigh Christie VSR Modding Sir. 6.88 megabytes to download for all platforms. This will run you nine slots on console. Found in the store under Slurry Tanks at the very end. We have a Slurry Tank 70, $25,000 to buy. Uh, requires 50 horsepower, will hold 70,000 liters of either slurry or digestate. So, oh, and actually, let's go back in there. Sorry, meant to go into here next. Uh, main color, you can adjust to anything on there. So, so there's some interesting colors on there for sure. It's like yellow, yeah, interesting. Rim color, you can adjust as well to whatever you would like. Standard or wide tires for the wheel setup. So, hop in here, F11, I can fill it up with liquid manure. It's basically a good setup to go on the bottom. Um, and this thing, does work with manure system so or it should work it doesn't say it does but i can tell you looking at it that it's going to work with manure system or it should work with manure system be to lower it down is that not an option there i guess if you just disconnect it to lower itself down but yeah pretty cool so um i like that one it's different than the other ones we have because there's no roof on it which i think is great so no other customization or anything in there you can do so there you go that is the slurry tank 70. Next up, we have the Slurry Bag. This is by Luca Modding. 10.48 megabytes to download for PC and Mac players only. This is uh, this is kind of a nifty mod. We'll take a look at this in the store first here. Uh, under Slurry Tanks, again, you probably saw it when we are looking at the 70, but we have the Bag Trailer, which, looking here, no weight. You can add a weight on the side if you want that little weight on there. Michelin, Trailer Borg. Got a couple options. Main colors you can adjust. To the rim color you can adjust. Um, and design color you can adjust, which is the weight there. So yeah, depending on how you want to set it up, um, you got the bag trailer. Now, the more important part is the slurry bag. Look at that capacity. So uh, large volume is 240,000, that's 10,000 extra. Small volume is 105,000 liters and 180 for the medium. That is super cheap storage for slurry, folks. So I have the large bag out. Now this gets a little tricky. So how do you transport this thing? You have to get up to the side of it. You see how I have mine the kind of racking on this right side here. And this is, this does work with manure system and it works without, I'm not using manure system right now. Uh, so it works with and without. So you see the racking on the side, you need to pull up on this side of it with these hose attachments on that side. It won't work any other way as far as I can tell. Um, now, if I open the help menu, I can adjust that if I want, but that's not a big deal with the mouse. Now I can hit Q to attach the slurry bag. Now, if I hit X, it goes to transport position. It won't let you do it. So hit X if it's not letting you load it up and then it'll allow you to attach it. Hit Q. Now it's attached. It's just on the side though. And now I couldn't, and there's a tutorial video on the Mod Hub, but I don't think it gave all the information needed. Now I couldn't get that to load up for a while, but I found out what the issue was. If you look in the upper left-hand corner, 
you see it's attached it says it's highlighted on the slurry bag which would be that part so disconnect now it's highlighted on the slurry bag hit g to go back to the trailer then if you hit x again it will put it up on the trailer for transport obviously it won't haul all slurry when it's on the trailer like that it's not going to hold any slurry now let's go ahead and get that back out there because we're going to put it out here in a second and now let me hit the g again to go back to the slurry bag now if i hit x to unfold the slurry bag i can do that and then i can disconnect it and then what we have here is a slurry bag that we can put we can pull up and put up to 240,000 liters of slurry in which is madness i mean it does take up some space but that is very cool uh so very cool mod indeed um uh, but yeah that is the slurry bag so there you go all right next up we have the road decorations these are by dulil dual dulio gaming 0.32 megabytes to download for all platforms we go in the store under placeables under decoration ignore all that stuff we'll look at that in a second uh the reflector 30 pounds to buy no daily upkeep and it will run you one slot on console we have the box 40 pounds to well 40 dollars pounds whatever to buy um and it will run you one slot on console electric box is 500 to buy and we're running two slots and the garbage can is 40 to buy and we'll run you one slot one slot no two slots two slots two slots on that one so yeah a couple of this decorative items here so there you go might just be what you're looking for but yeah not a bad little pack there so yeah road decorations all right and <laughs> i don't know how i feel about these uh next up in my final mod for the day or the final mod for the day is food by arrow modding uh 3.13 megabytes to download these are for all platforms these are going to run you one slot each on console um these are found in the store under decoration as you saw um we have bread version one two three four five six seven and we have an apple pear cookie pastry version one two and they're all 10 pounds to buy so very expensive for what they are um but they are little food things and you can pick them up and move them around and do, do what you want if you want or you can do with that which is what i feel like doing with them so there you go it just kind of depends on what you want to do with them uh <laughs> there's a cookie there i don't know. i don't why do we need this but uh it's i mean it's nifty i can't complain uh there is a little donut there so i mean i i'm making fun of it but because it's like i don't understand why this is necessary to farm sim but it does give you some role play aspects and cool stuff actually it's more probably a bagel do you guys call that a bagel or donut let me know down in the comments is that a bagel or a donut to me that looks more like a bagel or the loaf of odd shaped bread and look at that i'm not touching it and it's just doing its own thing look at that that is quite the donut there but or whatever it is but anyhow i've babbled on enough about the food so um that is it for today folks uh if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like down below if you haven't already hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the farmer cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that i may post and thank you guys this is the first day that i'm recording or the first thing i'm recording when we're over 30,000 subscribers so thank you you guys are awesome but anyhow see you guys in the next video